As the well is drilled, a technician called a mud logger periodically collects samples of the pulverized rock chips flowing up from the bottom of the borehole. These samples serve as the basis for a physical record of the properties and depths of the rock formations through which the drill bit passes. My name is uh, Larry Swarns. I own Stratigraphic, a uh, geological well logging company. This is my lab right here. And we are looking under the microscope, describing everything we see. Sand, clays, color, roundness, sharpness mafic materials, volcanics if we see them, a limestone, all that stuff. We record on our mud log. We also have drill rate uh, and the gas versus the depth and for, uh, sand versus clay. After the well is drilled, instruments are lowered into the borehole to take measurements directly from the rocks and fluids. I'm Wayne Rowe. I'm a project manager for Schlumberger Carbon Services. These instruments are attached to a wireline cable that has conductors that will take the signals from the measurements in the well bore and they travel up this wire line into a truck that has a computer in it that processes all the measurements. Some of the measurements are the resistivity of the fluids that are in the formation, the amount of pore space, how sound travels through the rock. We can do numerous things to give us the information to characterize the rocks in the formation through this wireline cable. Together, the physical and electrical well logs contribute to a portrait of the depths and thicknesses of formations and properties of the rocks and fluids.